Hello everybody, welcome to Corner 4 Billiards, a place where you can grow as pool players. If this is your first time here, please consider giving a like, a subscribe, and let's get into today's topic. Hey guys, I'm Brian, and today we're going to talk about the clock system. And I'm sure you high skill level players are already familiar with the clock system, but I had two teammates that threes and fours. Uh, they asked me what can I do to work on their cue control or what I do to get better with my positioning. And I mentioned the clock system to them and they never heard of it. So what I'm going to do is I'm going to break this into two videos. So this, this video here, I'm going to do one setup where we're going to go through the numbers 1 through 12. All right. And if you're not familiar with the clock system, just picture your cue ball and put a clock on it. All right. You got the 12 at the top, 6 at the bottom, and the numbers all the way around. All right. So that's going to be the contact point of the cue ball while we're shooting these 12 shots. So I'm going to I'm shooting 12 shots. They all going to go to a different spot, and we're going to get into it. So the first setup is you're going to put the cue ball in the dead center, all right? And then the object ball, the balls that we'll be shooting, you're going to be at the second diamond, but about six inches from the second diamond. So we want to set up a half ball hit here, all right? So what we're going to do is... So on the one ball, we're going to shoot one o'clock on the cue ball. So in this case, if I shoot one o'clock on the cue ball, I mean, so once I make this ball, the cue ball should come and land somewhere in this target. All right. And then we'll go to the two ball. Once we get to the two ball, we'll go two o'clock on the cue ball and it should come to this diamond and we'll go so on. All right. So before I get into doing this exercise a uh, couple of things I want to mention that you have to cover your ASS and that's aim speed and spin all right so you have to find your table speed your stroke your table be, my table speed stroke may not be the same as yours because you can hit it too hard or too soft and the cue ball won't travel in that direction so you have to put in the table time and to understand your stroke, your table speed, they're going to help you be successful at your current game. All right? Um, I'm going to set up, guys, and we'll get started. All right, guys. One ball. We go one o'clock. So keep in mind, the table conditions varies from table to table. So... That's why you have to practice practice this, all right? So, 1 o'clock should bring me to this diamond. Of course, I want to land in the red if all fails. <laughs> all right, so let's go. We're going to go 1 o'clock here. All right, perfect. Perfect, brother, right to that diamond. All right, guys, two ball, I'll go two o'clock. <clears throat> so the cue ball should come in to this diamond right here, towards this diamond. Of course, if it hit the red, we're good. All right, two o'clock. <clears throat> All right, good, good. I'll take that. All right, guys, three ball, three o'clock. So the cue ball should come towards this pocket in this area right here. All right, remember, guys, table speed plays a major factor in this drill. All right, three o'clock. All right, good. All right, guys, we're on the four ball. So we're going to go four o'clock. All right, it should could come towards this diamond or this, where, this area in the red. It should come towards this area. All right, four o'clock. You have to focus on these shot, guys. All 
Đấy. Cứ... All right, guys. Fireball. Gonna go five o'clock. Coming for the area right here. This target right here in the middle diamond. All right. Perfect, perfect. All right, guys, we're on the six ball. Gonna go six o'clock. All right, and we should come to this last diamond here in this area here. All right, half ball hit, six o'clock. Good, perfect. All right, guys, you notice, starting at 1 o'clock, each number on the clock went to a whole different diamond. So it was 1 o'clock, 2, 3, 4, 5, 6. So now we're going to get into the 7s, 8s, 9s, which going the other way. So it's going to be different. All right. All right, guys, remember, seven ball through the 12 is taking us back the other way. So we have to use inside. So in, inside is more difficult for amateur players than it is outside. So you really have to concentrate and focus. All right, so seven ball, we're going seven o'clock on the cue ball. This cue ball should come somewhere toward this first diamond in this area right here in my red. All right. Perfect. Perfect. All right, guys. A ball, eight o'clock. So the cue ball should come towards this second diamond right here. All right. Perfect, perfect, perfect. All right, guys, nine ball, nine o'clock. Should come just on the inside of that middle diamond right there. All right, nine o'clock, so it's just all left. Perfect. Okay. All right, guys. 10 o'clock. Go 10 o'clock on the cue ball. Should come in in this area right here. And the area is similar to some of the numbers that we did before. 10 o'clock. Perfect. All right, guys, 11 ball. We'll go 11 o'clock on the cue ball. It should go in the pocket or somewhere around it. All right. Take your time. Close to the pocket. All right. All right, guys. 12 ball, 12 o'clock. All right, we should come towards this first diamond right here. We're in the white and the red. All right, here we go. It's a half ball hit. Perfect. 
But there you go, guys. That's how the clock system works. It gives you more options on the cue ball. Uh, I hope you lower skill level, guys. I hope you uh, was able to get something out of this. Um, remember, my next video, we're going to do the exercise two. We're going to go through the clock system again, but we're going to have a different setup. So this is the way that you can learn the cue ball and you can start to improve your game. So thank you guys so much for being here. I'm going to give a shout out to my sponsors. Um, if you guys enjoy what I'm doing, please consider giving me a like and a subscribe. And if you want to see more content from me, please hit the bell. All right, guys, until next time, please take care of yourself. Take care of each other. See you next time.